Hey everybody, tonight we're going to go ahead and make some stuffed cabbage rolls. We're going to start off with ground beef, and here I am putting in some green bell peppers. The next thing I'm going to go ahead and add will be shredded cabbage. And this recipe usually calls for one head of cabbage, and that includes the cabbage leaves that we are going to use for our rolls and the shredded cabbage I just put in the bowl. Here we have some white onions. Sorry, they're actually yellow, but you can use white. I'm going to go ahead and play around with that spoon. And as you know, I always put the spoon down and use my hands. But don't worry, my hands are washed. If you do not want to use your hands to mix up your filling for your cabbage rolls, go ahead and use your spatula or spoon. Use what it works for you. This is the method that works best for me. So I'm going to go ahead and dig in. And while I'm doing that, I'd like to thank all of my viewers for making me a YouTube partner. I, I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for your views, your comments, ratings, and all of that other good stuff. And please keep these requests coming. So let me go ahead and continue mixing this stuff up. And you can use ground turkey instead of ground beef, ground chicken, shredded chicken, whatever meat you prefer to use. The next thing I'm going to go ahead and use will be some white rice, which was cooked prior to adding it to my mix. So there's my little bowl of white rice, and that is approximately two cups cooked, two cooked cups of rice. It's a little hot, but that's okay. There I go playing with my spoon again, but I was really checking to see if it, if it was too hot to use my hands, and it wasn't, so... It's okay for me to dig right back in. If you don't like white rice, you could substitute it for brown with brown rice, or you can even use breadcrumbs. So I'm gonna continue to mix that up. Once it is mixed up, we're gonna go ahead and add our seasoning. So I'm going to add some seasoning salt that is approximately a tablespoon. So go ahead and put that in there. You will also need some garlic powder and some onion powder for this recipe and if you would like the exact recipe go ahead and visit me on rosepetalstv.com and all of my recipes that are displayed here on YouTube are there so there's my onion powder I already put in the garlic powder and this is pretty much it um, if your seasoning salt doesn't have any pepper go ahead and put in a little bit of pepper as well the seasoning salt that I use already has pepper in it and now it's time to mix it up. Our next step will be stuffing our cabbage rolls. So all you need to do is get a cabbage leaf, place your filling in the middle of the leaf. After you place it in the middle of the leaf, all you need to do is fold each of the corners. And you can use a toothpick to keep it closed or you can have it face down like I'm going to do. Simple as that. So we're going to go ahead and put the roll in the pan. And traditionally, people like to have a red sauce on their cabbage rolls. And if that sounds like something you would like, go ahead and get some tomato sauce, minced garlic, onion powder, mix it up, and you can pour a little bit on top. That's the basic recipe for that. So you're going to go ahead and cover your cabbage rolls once you're all done. Your oven should be on 350 and you're going to bake them for about 40 to 45 minutes. And I'm just going to go ahead and punch in a couple holes on top. So let's put it in the oven. And once they are done, this is what they should look like. Very nice. I love cabbage rolls. You have your protein, your carbs, and your veggies all in one little cabbage roll. So that's the finished look. Very easy, quick. If you're a working mom like me, this is something that you might want to try out. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and tell all of your friends and viewers about Rose Petals TV. I will see you all later. Bye.